Microsoft just made a surprising announcement uh, of providing a free version of uh, their enterprise-grade team collaboration software and this is actually great news for, uh, for these types of uh, applications uh, and um, I'll be giving more details related to this uh, and comparisons throughout the video. At first, what is Microsoft Teams? And if you ever heard of Slack, this is uh, Microsoft's response to this application. If you haven't, Microsoft Teams is, an, uh, is a team collaboration software which is essentially a chat application with enterprise-grade features that, uh, that is uh, packed with tons of other add-ons and uh, I'll be sure to, to present you the more interesting ones uh, throughout this video. Now, let's begin by setting up an account here. If you don't already have an account with Microsoft, that is if you don't have an account for Office, you'll have to create one. The good news is that it's way simpler than it used to. And yes, they will ask you for basic information about your business, nothing too intrusive, however. Once this company account is set up, you can send as many invitations as you like to people that may or may not be part of your organization. So to be clear here, this is serious software that is already being used by 200,000 businesses already, so Microsoft made sure it is available on pretty much on any device you think of. Well, maybe except uh, the Microsoft App Store that seems to be in some private beta as of right now. Personally, I installed it on my iPhone and despite it crashed once, it now seems to be working fine. To be noted, it works surprisingly well on my Surface Pro device. Now, on the functional side, once you have a few people on your team, there is plenty of material to explore. I started from the top, where as soon as you click, there will be a variety of options to introduce you to the real deal here. Typing the forward slash will show you the, some interesting options, such as setting up your status or reading what's new. That is about the latest additions that Microsoft added to the software. Typing the add key will allow you to send a private message to another member of the team. Also, you can type add news to launch a news widget. And you can further narrow your news selection by typing some keywords. That is quite neat and super interesting to play with. As having a background in technology, I perfectly understand Microsoft's thinking around making the top bar more like a command line, a clear reference to their famous command line tool. But let's continue to the bread and butter of this tool, that is essentially a chat software, so you can basically send and receive all kinds of interesting content here and everything seems to be running smoothly. Text, images, news, really everything you'd expect, including rich text editor. And yes, video calls also work smoothly, and that is between any imaginable platform, something that used to be a serious issue with Skype, for instance. Now, in case you have questions, Microsoft also included a bot to assist you with pretty much anything you might think of. And in fact, there are plenty of other bots integrated that you may choose to install, even for human resources. Personally, I'm not a too much a fan of these bots, but who knows, there might be some interesting use cases for them too. By the way, many of them are pitches trying to sell some third-party software and ask you to create some external accounts. Also interesting, and particularly useful, is the section that allows uploading files to the channel. The storage does not seem to be linked to OneDrive, which basically means that those files will be available to everyone on that channel. That is something I couldn't easily find in other team collaboration software like Facebook's Workplace, which I looked at in another video. And of course you have access to create your own channels and all the administrative features you'd expect from an enterprise-grade collaboration tool. To me, Microsoft has done a very smart move here and uh, actually I'm sure this is part of their cloud expansion strategy because uh, uh, I, I believe this is the main reason why they, uh, they are launching themselves in, in, in the mainstream um, collaboration software market. And to be honest with you, it's, uh, it's uh, one of the first times that I hear that Microsoft provides uh, soft, enterprise grade software uh, so easily in, in the cloud. And um, could it be used in an HR context? And I believe definitely yes. And um, I, I said this after also reviewing uh, uh, Facebook's uh, workplace application. And uh, I believe that uh, Microsoft got it right this time by, by simplifying uh, it as much as possible. Now, in terms of pricing, it is roughly on the same model per user with its competitors. The important part is you can try it for as long as you like, unlike in the case of G Suite Chat App, for example. And they do not limit you in the core functionalities as it may be the case with Slack. Now, on the slightly less interesting part of things, unless you're a techie here, it will take you some time to get, 
to get used to using this software and i'm saying this after also reviewing facebook's uh, workplace application but uh, we can say that facebook's uh, work uh, workplace application um, is based on simplicity and um, it's actually way too simple for for an enterprise grade collaboration tool some i'd say um, now could it take uh, some uh, some market share from slack and uh, i don't believe that microsoft strategy uh, is this way here because i believe they they know that the, uh, there are actually very few teams uh, using collaboration software on uh, on a daily basis so they know that uh, there's plenty of room to grow from for uh, for many other applications so um, I would be curious also to know what you think maybe some of you are already using slack and uh, have already trialed Microsoft Teams I'd be very interested to know what you think uh, when comparing them and uh, which one which one you should use so uh, <clears throat> In conclusion here, I believe Microsoft has done a very smart move by, uh, by launching themselves into, into this uh, mainstream new generation type of cloud software. By, and they also, uh, not too long ago, they, they acquired LinkedIn and only a few weeks ago they acquired GitHub. So I believe they are quite serious about this, uh, this new strategy and uh, it will definitely be very, very interesting to see what's, what's going to happen.